so this is a quick rehousing video for my giant seashore earwigs so they were in this enclosure here and they did two of them did have a clutch of eggs each but unfortunately both the eggs they seem to have eaten uh, probably because there was a um, really um, there was tons of springtails got in there uh, I have a culture and they must have got in I might have I can't remember if I introduced them but I don't think I did Either way, yeah, that got out of hand and they lost the eggs, unfortunately. They may lay more, but I hope so. But I think this enclosure is a bit smaller. I cleaned it completely. Um, no springtails or anything. So hopefully it should uh, be alright. Got lots of rocks in there from the tide under. They like that. So yeah, let's uh, see them here. Okay, so here they are. We just, um, I just opened the lid. Um, got three here. Quite a big one there, and uh, then a medium sized one and a smaller one, I think. But yeah, I see some springtails in that enclosure, but obviously, I'm not going to put any of this. Oh, sorry, this uh, substrate in. But yeah, let's see if I can get one on my hand. Try and um, move it on my hand, mate. No, it's not cooperating. There we are. Yeah, let's introduce him. There you go, mate. Coming up. There he goes. First in. This is a much nicer environment for them. I see I've got three dishes. I'm not really sure if they can use bug gel or not, so I've had to bring a sort of smaller bowl of water there as well in case they need it. It is very shallow just because I think they can drown quite easily yeah I'll get the next one now big one are you going to come on? I think she only let, lost her um, clutch of eggs a few days ago it's quite sad she's my biggest probably probably no probably my favourite I like her she's just because she's so big that you would never see an earwig this size at least in most places uh, but yeah, really cool animal. Put her in a new home. They are communal, as far as I know. They don't. Oops, sorry. They don't fight each other or anything. You saw how well they were getting along in the tub. I like to give them enough space. They are tiny, but I like to give them this own space. Oh, they're having a bit of a climb around, a bit of an explore. Yeah, I like to give them their own space because, uh, like, if they lay, they. Sorry about that guys, uh, video cut out. Shame you've just seen uh, one of the the largest earwig was just sort of walking around down here. But yeah, anyway, um, back on track. Last, uh, last one in the tub here. Just put her in. Are you going to come on my hand? There we go. Behaving quite well today, they're not running around everywhere. There she goes. This might be the boy actually. Um, you can tell by the uh, <laughs> backing up under the. Oh, where are you running off to? Is it because the other one was under there? Yeah, you didn't realise the other one was there, backing under there. Bumped into them. Yeah, and. <laughs> And under there now, but yeah, yeah, that's their uh, setup. Um, yeah, so it's nice. It's uh, big enough, I think, for the three. Hopefully, they will lay more eggs. Never know. And if so, uh, have hopefully I have more uh, success with them. They do, as I said before in a previous video, uh, I give them this roach mix, they do like to eat it, but um, I have been told, or the, um, they apparently they do hunt as well, like they can eat crickets and uh, things like uh, isopods. I did actually introduce isopods into their old enclosure, but they kind of bred and I don't 
think that might have been something to do with the eggs going as well. So what I'll probably do is if I'm going to try and feed them any live food, I'll probably just put like one cricket or something in. And if they att if they try and eat it, then that's good. But if not, I mean, I, I know they eat this, this roach mix that I make. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.